Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront, and this is a look at the incredible adventures of Van Helsing. This is a new action RPG. Uh, very, I mean, let's let's not mince word. <laughs> I, I like, sorry, I got distracted. She was pulling up her her, her blouse there. Um, let's not mince words here. This is a it's a it's a clone of Diablo. It's a Diablo clone, much like Diablo three was a clone of Diablo one, much like Torchlight was a clone of Diablo. This is a clone of Diablo. Uh, it's a top-down action RPG where you click on stuff and then you find loot so that the amount of times you click on stuff is less before they die. Uh, that's that's my back of the box uh, back of the box quote anyway. Uh, but I, I, I don't mean to trivialize this game. I, I love that style of game and from what I've played so far this is a very good Diablo clone. So I'm gonna check, uh, I'm just gonna do a new character here. We're gonna delete that one. Create. Uh, the default name is Abraham because you are the son of the, you know, famous Van Helsing. Uh, his name is going to be George Washington Van Helsing. Oh, apparently not. <laughs> uh, we'll make him Jimmy Jack Van Helsing. All right, and we'll do hard. Create, wait, no, back, play. There we go, single player. It all began with a call for help. A letter from Borgovia addressed to Van Helsing. The great monster slayer, my father. He doesn't take cases anymore, but I am a hunter too. So I set off on a journey with Lady Katarina, my remarkable companion. I'm an expert on the supernatural, and I seem to be drawn to it. Occasionally events get out of control, and then we have to leave in quite a hurry. Sometimes it's Katarina's fault. She can be quite reckless at times. Still, she always helps me save the day. And she also happens to be a ghost. My father rescued her from Borgovia, and she has been bound to serve our family ever since. Katarina often complains about it, but I think she really likes the thrill of the adventure. She is a charming soul, but she also has a darker side. Good. It comes in helpful when I'm in danger. Somewhere along the way, we slowly learn to work together. And finally, in the cold rain of Venice, we became a team. The last leg of the journey was by sea. Apart from the Kraken, the pirates, and the storms, it was mostly uneventful. I had time to ponder my mission. Once, Borgovia was a dark place where monsters lived. Long ago, my father defeated the immortal kings, created a peace treaty, and entrusted the land to some enlightened individuals. What could have happened there? What could be even more frightening than the reign of monsters? The closer we drew to Borgovia, the more confusing the rumors became. The land behind the Thunderhead Mountains was wrapped in mystery. As our carriage approached the mountain pass, I had a sense of foreboding. It didn't really surprise me when I heard an explosion. The adventure has just begun. Alright, let's begin the adventure. Gorgon Pams of the Thunderhead Mountains. No wonder there was always a favorite hunting ground for bandits and other rascals. How did he survive that? Catalina, I don't care. shouldn't you help me out with this? Please, they are just some ragged outlaws. See, it wasn't that difficult, was it? So this is how they welcome folk around here? Yes, why? It is an ancient and venerable tradition. All right, so let's go over some of the unique things about Van Helsing. Um, we have both a melee and a ranged weapon that we can switch between by hitting the R button. So, dual swords and dual pistols. Uh, Q is to heal damage, so let's just do that really quick. Uh, here's my inventory, don't really have anything to speak of yet. Like in Diablo, you can hold down shift. And just shoot into the direction of your mouse is. Or, you can just click and hold on enemy. Oh, 
poor Katarina is getting ganged up on. Come on, bitch! Let's pick up these weapons. That's so you can see really, really easily what whether the weapon you picked up is better than the weapon you have equipped. So this will give us uh, some more DPS, a lot more DPS. Let's just get back here. And we also have a, a shot, a special shot over here. I say as Katarina gets demolished by these guys. She she acts as a good shield though. But if I press two, I'll be able to equip a tar shot that will slow enemies down. Oh my, that was stupid. I'm impressed actually. They do have a sense of theatrics. We could still fly over the chasm. Really? Oh, right. Uh, sometimes I forget how human you are. We should follow the normal pathway there. Alright, so as you can see, Katarina also has her own equipment that you can do. Uh, she also has behavior they can, you know, make her, make her do. Uh, let's see, assume ghost form. Interesting. So if she's in ghost form, all she really does is provide you with 10% resistance against all damage. But I want her as a melee, melee hero. Defend. We'll attack those who would do you no harm. Or do you harm, okay, rather. Uh, attack your target. So I'm fine with her on that. She can also be set to collect all this stuff. Just so you don't miss them, I guess. Uh, let's see, what else? You can also set her to buy stuff. Uh, let's get her to buy, I don't know, we'll say three. And we check the equipment. I guess you can't do that yet, but I would assume once you find a town, you can send her to buy equipment for you. Wolves. So let's try out a uh, web shot here. And I can't really tell because they're not moving. They're just kind of attacking uh, Katarina. Ooh, level up. All right, now let's take a look at this. So we have the Mystic Warrior. These are your melee skills. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of a fan of going range. So let's check out the range skills here. Um. So I can get a dum dum round for 50% damage. I'll take that. Explosive round. So this is for splash damage. Got it. And these are my these are my magic spells. I'm a I'm gonna stick with with being a ranged uh, damage dealer primarily. So let's bump this up to bump up my physical damage from ranged. For this, we have body, which is for melee damage and hit points and defense. This is for range damage and dodge. Magic. And this is for magic fine, gold fine, dodging, and critical hits. So let's bump up dexterity. Give two to... No, give one to body for, for some health. And... Let's do another to dexterity. All right, I think we're all good. Katarina can also level up, but it doesn't look like she has yet. So another interesting thing about the uh, the skills I just bought is that I can mix them. So you see right there, I mixed explosive and damage. So deal dealt some more splash damage. Katarina just picked up something. I'll take that. Once again, that was explosion and uh, dum dum. Next time I see a group, I'm gonna try expl or dum dum and or no the web shot and or tar shot and explosive. So we'll see if it makes all of them slower. 
<laughs> I don't think it did. <laughs> so those skills I've been using, they, they use rage. And rage is obtained by killing enemies. Once I run out, I'm pretty much out of it until... Until I kill a whole bunch more enemies. Gloves? Don't really need them. Katarina also cannot use gloves. She only uses armor, rings, and helms. In addition to her weapons, of course. Ooh, a ring. Give me that ring. Fifteen. Ooh, that seems pretty damn nice. Whoop. Need more rage. What do we have here? Eh. Might as well. Not that impressive. But might as well. One thing I can also do is let's see how I got what two health potions. Never mind then. Uh, if I had more health potions, I could give a whole bunch to. Ooh, let's get him! Let's get him! Let's get him! No! 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 Oh. What's the matter with him? He looked like he'd seen a ghost. No, don't blame this on me. You started chasing him. Let's do it. Don't have enough rage. Get out. More rage. Dead. I don't have any healing potions. Slowed him down. Uh oh. My companion's ah. dead. Ooh, that was cool. That was this spell. Stuns the enemy for one second. Alright, so what can we do here? Let's buff, let's buff up this. And let's also check out the tricks and auras. These are passive auras. Increases your critical damage. As long as you have max rage. Well, I like using my rage, so that's probably not going to be helpful. This heals players for 80 hit points. I'll take that. No, you know what? It uses also spell power, though. Nah, let's use one. And I'm gonna save the rest for when we get one of these higher explo or high explosive. Seemed good to me. Let's see. Also, I probably got some points here. Dexterity. Bump up luck, and one more to dexterity. Switch that. Alright. Seems good to me. Uh, one thing I also should probably do is, you're starting to annoy me, Katarina, with your, uh, finding all these items. I mean, I can find them myself. Kill the stranger. No, you won't. Bury him in the woods. I want the hat. I think I froze that one. I don't have any healing potions. Oh, Katarina's gone. Grr. What are you guys doing back here? You should fight with your friends. Whoa! Hey, doggies. One, three. Alright, companion level up. 
Now we can check this, this stuff out. This will swallow us whole and spit out my bones. And still no sign of a decent inn. Why would you need an inn? You're a ghost. So I'm supposed to spend the rest of my nights among the trees like a peasant girl who got lost in the woods. I'd love the idea. All right, so I'm gonna. I want Katarina to be my my tank, so I'm gonna upgrade her body, and we'll use this to get some extra defense. And with, oh, reputation up. Uh, so these are perks. Perks of bonuses that are unlocked by meeting certain conditions, such as specific ability levels or skill combinations. So, 10% uh, damage while at max rage. So I've already been over that. Respawn cooldown. I don't want her to die, so let's save. Fuck that. Um, that's kind of nice. Potions are good. 10% uh, critical chance against every enemy. That sounds pretty promising. Second chance. I'm not expecting to die, so fuck that. Uh, and my hero receives an additional inventory page. I'm going to go with precise for now. Load up my shots. I do kind of wish that the uh, spell effects were a little more profound. Or at least for, for the explosive and dum dum rounds. What have you here? Stop right there. Easy lad. We're friends here. They all say that, but I won't let in any dangerous fiends on my watch. No, sir. How dare dare you. I'm going to tear you apart, and then I'll teach you some manners. No, I, I didn't mean you, my lady. The undead nobility of Borgova are always welcome to haunt here, but you, with the Van Helsing hat, we don't like your sword here, with your weapons and bad manners. I am a monster hunter. Of course you are, or you are just a troublemaker. Oh, you don't have to worry about my uh, servant. I keep him on a short leash. Katarina. Thank you, my lady. You can pass, and your manservant, too. We'll talk about this later. Fine. Don't even thank me. Man, that didn't even really take that much convincing. All right, guys, we're going to end this video right here before we enter Marknovna, or Markovna rather uh thanks for watching and if you guys enjoyed this and want to play it for yourself this game is now available on steam i believe for the the discounted price of like 13 bucks as opposed to the 15 dollar price tag uh it, it normally will have uh so yeah check it out and thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe